Warning for animal owners tonight. We're in the peak season for mosquito-borne illnesses. That's right. One horse in Chesapeake recently died from eastern equine encephalitis. 13 News Now reporter Stephen Graves looked at what health officials are doing to stop it from happening again. That latest horse death because of this mosquito-borne illness was in Chesapeake. There was one before that in Suffolk. But now health officials are using this information for good to protect you at home. In recent months in Hampton Roads, two horses dead after contracting a virus with a big name carried by a small mosquito. We're talking eastern equine encephalitis. It doesn't take much to transmit a virus. Epidemiologist Lisa Engel with the Chesapeake Health Department says while the virus isn't common to spark symptoms in people, the recent horse death in their city is still reason to pay attention. You know, if a horse has eastern equine, it does mean those mosquitoes are out there that can infect humans too. She does say it's not uncommon for a horse to die from the disease. I feel sorry for the people, just think it's not much you can do. That's why horse owners like Lee Markley and Chesapeake say it's so important to take precautions. There's eastern and western equine encephalitis. So we vaccinate against both of those twice a year. Um, we spray when needed. The health department says the city is spraying as well. They wouldn't say what specific section of Chesapeake the horse contracted the disease, but they say it was in a farm like area. So I'm letting you know that we do have those mosquitoes in the city where people are. Engel says protecting yourself is as simple as wearing long clothing and emptying water from around your home. Officials say there's still at least a month left in mosquito season and this year was above average. They say remember the prime time to get bitten is an hour after sunset. Reporting in Chesapeake, Stephen Graves, 13 News Now.